Guys, this is Lucy Piper. It is a beautiful day outside uh, upstate New York, beautiful fall. And I want to make my videos as long as possible outside because I not need a special lighting for this. I hope I just go with this right through the winter. So we'll see. Today I want to talk about fatigue and the lack of energy. There is a lot of question on this. And many people who have rheumatoid arthritis struggle with fatigue. It's actually one of the hardest symptoms to live with. And I tell you uh, honestly, when I had my severe arthritis, arthritis symptoms, I did not actually have fatigue. And I think about why I did not have, I think because I was so sick that I did not even notice that I was probably struggle with this as you do. So energy, it's a building block for everything in our life. It's uh, our relationship, it's a career, it's our mood, it's our happiness. And without energy, our life actually suffer. But what it would be if you have at least 5% more energy today or 10% or 20% just every single day. Would you enjoy more your life? Absolutely, yes. And you know, there is no uh, any tricks for this, like a special medication or supplements. It's all, again, your foundation of your well-being. Long-time engagement. And it's uh, required to change your habit. It means not happened overnight. You have to work towards this. A small hinges that will be open the big door. So, as you know, all our body build from cells. Cells everywhere. It is in uh, our skin, hair, nails, organs, blood. There is a 37.2 trillion cells in human body. Every cell to live need energy. Everything need energy. So, we have this energy from food when we break down this food it's um, uh, microscopic nutrients going through the bloodstream and feed these cells. That's how we alive. But there is a very small here secret. Each cell contains a special energy factory. It's called mitochondria. And that's what depends on your mitochondria level in your body give you energy or you or don't give you energy. So, when we eat carbs uh, we, and break down food, it's uh, going again to micronutrients, absorb, go to our blood, and blood takes us to cells, and cells gives us to mitochondria. The same happened with proteins and fats. It will be broken down, uh, microscopic nutrients absorb, takes us uh, through the blood to the cells, and cells gives us to mitochondria. That's how mitochondria generated fuel for you and give you energy. So, fatigue, this is a one of the common symptoms of poor functional mitochondria. Therefore, visualize this every time when you eat. When you're going to give good food, live food to your body to feed mitochondria, you have energy. When you feed with dead, processed food, you don't feed your mitochondria, you don't have energy. So, you will be have questions, then we need to eat special food to feed our mitochondria. Yes. Again, including your carbs, dark green leafy vegetables, colorful vegetables, sulfur vegetables like a, a cabbage family, high quality protein, and it's uh, pasture raised, grass fed animals, wild fish, organs meat, nuts, seeds, and legumes in moderation. But you have to pre soak it for better digestive. Good oils, avocado oil, coconut oil, olive oils, ghee. So, this is a all will be great fuel 
for your mitochondria. But it's not all yet. What also affects your mitochondria is it's a pharmaceutical drugs, chemicals in a food, pesticides, herbicides, environmental toxin, tobacco smoke. It's all knock out the mitochondria. And a still most important part here is it doesn't matter sometimes what kind of food you eat. If you not absorb this food, it's going nowhere. To feed your mitochondria, you need a well, well functional, your digestive system. And remember, from all autoimmune disease, rheumatoid arthritis, most of most depend of your well functional digestive system. 50% people, they don't have a digestive symptoms at all, but digestive very much struggle. Back up. Remember, your gut, this is a place where, where your health and disease begin. So, to summarize here, to feed your mitochondria, the energy factory in your body, you need a very good functional digestive system, high nutrients, dense food, and uh, get rid of unnecessary drugs. I'm Lucy Piper, your array coach. Click link below. This is my website and schedule 30 minutes free consultation with me.